see if anybody pops on. I might need a coffee. Mm -mm, what is that? The floor? That's a post-it note. <laughs> okay. I think good. Like that. I think. Let's see. Let's play with the light, shall we? Ooh. That's a little better. It's not so bright. In my eyeballs. It is what it is. Hello, butterfly nurse. I'm coming to you. I can all that's all I can see right there is a post-it note from Gabriel. <laughs> I'm coming to you guys with a haul video, and that's the garbage truck, courtesy of the city. Um, I'm coming to you with a haul video to, so that you guys can see some of the items that will be available um, later on at around one o'clock when we go to do our sale. So I just wanted to kill two birds with one stone. Well, actually, I won't be killing any birds, but anyways, did you guys see my Goodwill thrift with me yesterday? Um, this is not right. There's something about this that's not accurate. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I normally do it at night and you can't see all the light. Um, anyway, so the Goodwill yesterday, good morning, was very sparse in like the home decor area. That was sucky. Um, we had to go out that way anyway because we had to go return something at the Best Buy that was right across the street from it. So I was like, you know, I got to go to Goodwill, you know. So I went over to Goodwill and home decor stunk. Um, but I was still walking around trying to get uh, footage for you you guys, the, the ones that appreciated it anyway, because yesterday's video had some lovely comments. Um, but we walked over to like the shoes and the purses and they had like a fresh bin of purses. Now I explained in yesterday's shop with me video that I had no idea if these purses were real. Probably not. Do I really care? No. I mean, good morning. Um, oh, that's okay. Hi there. Um, kitty. Hi. <laughs> Why are people, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. It takes special people. Hi, Belinda. Whew, my heart rate's going kind of fast. I keep looking at my watch. If it makes me out of breath. Probably one too many cups of coffee this morning. But anyways, um, I really don't, it doesn't matter to me. I don't, you know, have to, well, thank you. I don't have to have, I don't even know about those kinds of things. Like, girl, I carry a grocery bag. I don't care, you know? So, but anyway, so I did get some purses and I told Aaron, I was like, this probably, um, hi, Pamela. I'm just showing some stuff I got yesterday. Um, probably isn't real but i i would wear it for me and he was like you look at you you go girl get yourself a purse so i i had all the permission i needed to grab these purses so one of the ones i got this one is probably legit because it's michael wait is it mark yeah michael kors um i mean probably it says michael kors on the inside but these people are getting good i remember back in the day it was so much easier to tell these when I was selling vintage purses back like more than a decade ago. <laughs> but they're getting a lot better, you know, with their fake shenanigans. Um, but this one, it has like a little something there, but I have to clean that off. And so I got the Michael Kors purse and this one was $7.97. So I figured... Mama got herself a new purse for $7.97. So, I got that. I also got this one that I've already put my stuff into. This one, listen, it's got like Louis Vuitton on the rivets. It's got Louis Vuitton on the bottom right there. I mean, 
The only thing that kind of throws me off is that the back of this looks really cheaply made. I don't know. So I don't, I don't know them um, that well. So I haven't bought anything. I don't think I've ever, not once, ever bought a brand new, like Louis Vuitton, Coach. I've never gone into Macy's and dropped four or $500 on something like that. So I don't know. But it was nice enough for me. So I got this one. And this one was $9.97. I got that. I did get a couple of little vintage housewares. This is the only one that I know is legit because it still has the original tag. It's a bag, Badly Mishka. I can say the last name, but the first name's a tongue twister. Um, but it has the little B right there. And it's just a little clutch purse. You know, I got so... Well, first, my source kind of went away. Um, we moved away from the weigh and pay, the pay by the pound part of the Goodwill, and that's where I used to find a lot of the better things. And I also used to get, because I did, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Melissa. You don't have to do that. Um, I used to get, because I would do vintage clothes too, so I would pick up cheap like props to use when we would do photo shoots. Like I used to model for, um, like I would do my own thing and then I would model for another girl that had a, an online shop and stuff. She was called the Urban Collection. And I remember, I remember I got voted one of the babes of eBay, like, not that that's like a prestigious title or anything, but, um, yeah, so I would, I would model for her and then we would, we would use props. We would go to the weigh and pay and we would get the shoes and the purses and the belts and things like that. Um, but I would also look for stuff to sell. So when that kind of went away, it got harder for me to buy those things to, um, to resell. Uh, but I remember it just being so tedious. Like, I don't care to ever measure an inseam for the rest of my life. I don't care to ever know what kind of strap this is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, don't care. So, but anyways, I can't really, it's not going to show you, I don't think. But there, right there, it says Bagley Mishka. And this one was $5.97. That one's cute. Girl, we could be fancy and I could wear that to the flea market. You know? I got that. This is a no name, but I thought it was cute as well. I liked its shape and style. So, um, <laughs> that's funny, Butterfly Nurse. Um, this one's like no name, you know? It's just, it's just a cute little purse. A little tiny one you could put your well my cell phone probably wouldn't fit in there maybe my flip phone back in like you know 2000 might fit in there um but you could hold your cash and stuff and go to the flea market my camera would fit in there my little gopro or something would fit in there so this was uh 297 so i grabbed this i just updated my like decades old purse game so um, I got this one for resale. Now, I remember in the video I was telling you guys, I grabbed two of these, and I was having Aaron look them up, and he was saying, you know, oh, the Lily Bloom doesn't sell very well online. But every time I pass one in the videos, people are like, why'd you pass that up? Why didn't you grab that? I mean, they do that with about, just about everything, but... So I remembered that name, and while this isn't, like, my style, I thought for a few dollars... Um, you know, I could throw it in a live sale. I know I try to tend to stick to more vintage things, but I mean, that's really cute. It's a smaller one. It's cute for spring or fall. It's got both um, color combos in there. Then I grabbed this one. Hi, everybody. Hi, Joanne. Um, this one, let's see. This one has... Again, I don't know about this either. Um, it has the little coach emblem there. It has a scratch on it. It has this here. Um, inside, it has all of this. So, 
And then it's made in China. But I know uh, Coach does have things that are made in China. But it's in really good shape. I'm not a pink person. I like this pink better than like baby pink. But um, yeah, I thought this was cute. I thought it was. I mean, it looked legit to me. So I grabbed this one. It was $2.97. So looked all right to me. Then this is like the same idea. It's the DKNY. I think they, in a general term, these are like their signature pattern. Um, which one, Miss Pam? The, the coach one? Yeah, this one. I mean, I think that out of all of them that I got, I think this one is the one that's real. Well, this one, and then I know this like Jones New York one is real. Um, and probably this. This I think is more vintagey. This one is very like equestrian. Um, now you're talking my language. I don't. I don't care. You know, I don't, it doesn't have to be designer. I don't care. I mean, I'll buy a bag from Walmart. I don't care. Um, what area am I in? Well, I'm in Florida, central, ish Florida. Um, but anyways, I was like, I was talking about this, got it, the DKNY bag. Okay, so this one, you know, it's got the little pockets. This one is probably real as well, you know. It's, I mean, is someone really going to do a knockoff of DKNY? I mean, do they? I don't know. But, loved this one. Um, check inside pockets for serial number for Louis Vuitton. See, like inside the pocket pockets, like every pocket, Hmm. Let me see what you say. I mean, even like on this one, even that zipper says Louis Vuitton. I mean, they didn't do that back in the day. I mean, they just, they really didn't. So, I don't know. But I don't really care either. I'm not going to try and resell it online. I'm not, you know what I mean? Because I can't prove it. But anyways, I thought this one was really cute um this one says and i did not look this one up i just grabbed it by its like style but there's the the name right there Pets, petsuko petus petusco genuine leather trim made in spain and then the lining has the name of it and it has like all the little all these little horses all over it. Now it looks like maybe someone's child or animal kind of chewed on that strap a tad. Um, but I still thought it was cute. And what else did it have? Oh, it has a little, you know, zipper here. <laughs> oh yeah, it could be, yeah. Yep, I know. That's what I was saying. Like, back in the day, they were, I mean, they were, like, okay on the outside. Maybe you could tell because they used a color combo that, like, Louis Vuitton didn't use or a color stitching that Louis Vuitton didn't use. Um, but now, I mean, they're on it. They're, like, making some real stuff, <laughs> real-looking stuff. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Let me see what you said. You, 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 you use interior, but not, yeah. Up and down and vertical and across the seams are all finished. Yeah. I don't know. But this is the, like of this purse anyway. You know. Um... There was another one there. I think you guys saw. It was like a blue jean color. And the little thing on the side broke. But it had all the things that you would try and look for, right? Like the, the rivet said Louis Vuitton. The, the little metal bits. I mean, that used to not be. But they did it. Hi, Angela. Um, but the little, the little tag on the side just broke off like it tore like paper. I was like, mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> but anyways, then I got this. It's a set, actually. They sold them both together. So these are Jones, New York. I had Aaron look up this pattern. I can't remember the name of the pattern. But 
it's a it's their signature like that because it has the letters but it has um it has a different name if i like it i don't care if it's yeah hmm, nope it's mine just like you know some people won't buy stuff um like when i ask that question like if they only buy name brand things or only collected certain things some people have a really hard time buying things that are made in china and some people are like i just buy things that I find her beautiful. Some people just won't buy anything that's not made in America. It doesn't matter where. Like even the cute little um, made in Japan pieces that we see, they won't buy them. So I guess, you know, to each their own. So that was it for the purses. And for the home decor, I got this gigantic mushroom spoon rest. And on the back, it says Arnell's 1973. So it's a giant ceramic uh, mushroom spoon rest. You guys probably saw this in the video. Like, spoiler alert, I got the same thing. Then I showed you guys this, like, glass sort of paperweight. Um, oh, okay. Um, this has a name right there, and it's actually a city in Croatia. So this would have to be something probably for eBay because it would take a special person like on this planet to want this item. But I thought for a dollar something, I could try it. I mean, I think it's pretty because you know I'm attracted to glass and paperweights. And then the last thing from Goodwill and then I have some antique store stuff. Oh, would you buy it? Oh, okay. Was this little piece of pottery right here. I don't know what it was in its little life. It's not signed or anything, but I thought the glaze was cool. So, um, okay, you're not talking to me. All right, so that was, that was, oh wait, oh, I guess there's one more thing. Then I got this, this little teacup and saucer. It, I don't, I don't know what that says there. Or Vieto something something um oh hi miss charlotte i'm just doing a haul video um this reminded me of italian pottery and it had the little saucer with it so i was like "Ooh, that's interesting let me open it oh you know what i did, listen i don't walk around with my own tape this was taped together you just saw that and unless they oh that's pretty oh <gasps> look at the inside look at that um, yes, we're having the four-way sale today at one on my channel. I'm just sharing with you guys some things that might be in the sale later. Because if I, like when I do the film the shop with me, especially the antique store, I'll get people asking if those things are available. And then I'll be like, no, I already sold it like a few days ago. And then they get upset. So I'm trying to get this out to you before I sell it today <laughs> if that makes sense um but anyway so it came like this but look this was also um maybe they did them separately and then realized hey they go together they just sold them as a set but you saw they were taped together but this is really nice that's a really nice um cup and saucer now for the antique store stuff that's all i got i got a, just a bunch of purses well bianca got stuff she got like $25 worth of stuff. She just kept throwing stuff in the cart. I'm like, girl, Christmas was just like two days ago. All right. These little cuties are going to be available in today's sale. Look at these. Salty. Salty. And peppy. Now, they had like those squeakers, but they don't squeak. They never squeak anymore. I think once I've heard them squeak, and it was one that I think Misty happened to find. So, Salty and Peppy, those are going to be in today's sale. And I can, we're only supposed to pick 10 things. So, you guys let me know. If you're going to attend the sale today, you guys give me some, you know, like, ooh. Yeah, she does need to do her stickers, but... 
Mama's not going to do it for her. <laughs> she wants to make that money. Um, but let me know if you guys see anything you like. So we got this little poodle. And this is just a made in Japan figurine. It's not like a salt shaker or anything. Though I do have one lonely salt shaker that I bought because it was lonely and it was cute. What is this? What is this? Oh yeah, she wrapped this separately so it wouldn't stab anybody. <laughs> I've never found one of these before. And um, uh, Katrina from, I can't remember her name now. Tarnished Treasures. She finds these a lot, but it's one of the receipt stakes. And this was one of the things along with the, uh, the little oil cans that I saw on Pinterest where people were using these and they were displaying their Christmas tree toppers, but it has such a nice pattern on it and that nice green. So it's a receipt stake. It says made in the USA on the, on the bottom. And let me turn that to its side so nobody falls and kills himself. Next item. Oh, I was kind of bummed about these. I grabbed these and I was like looking them over and looking them over and I was like, nope, they're not broken, broken. But she did, the lady that was wrapping my stuff did, um, she like turned around and knocked a bunch of stuff over with her elbow. So I'm wondering if this broke, like, and she didn't realize it because I looked these over. I was standing there with Aaron and I was like, I can't believe the flowers aren't broken or these aren't broken. And look, the little flower petal is broke, but these little dancing deer and on the bottom it's sweet it says to david so we have those right there yeah i know i was just kind of like mm, when she did that <laughs> got those what else do we get yeah they're so cute i'd probably still buy them even though they were broken Don't run, you'll shake the whole camera. All right, the next thing I have, oh my gosh, this is so cute too. Says made in Japan. This one isn't um, broken or anything, but look at this. Look how cute that is. I love this one. So cute. And I can only pick 10 things. These, they didn't sell these as a set, which I was kind of bummed about. I had to pay separately for all of them. So we have this little squirrel. And then we got this one. And that one is going to try and run out the front door. And then this one. So I had to pay for all of them separately, um, which kind of stunk, but they're cute. Butters, you cannot go outside. All right, for sure sell the skunks today. Okay. Skunks, okay, so we have that, skunks. All right, I wish they were all in the same position. Um, well, no, that wouldn't be very fun, would it? All right, then this is probably going to go in my collection because it was cheap enough and I don't feel very guilty about it. <laughs> um, but it's this little butters. You're going to knock everything down. This little bird paperweight. It even has colored eyes. I have an elephant like this one. I saw a cat once, but they wanted like $45 for it. And I was like, uh, hi, oh, wait, Yessie, hello, how are you? Welcome. Oh, you love that paperweight? The green receipt thing? Okay. Hey, hey, don't knock around my skunks. Then I found this girly candle. Um, you can still see it says 15 cents on the bottom. What are you doing down there? <laughs> but 
But, yep, I got that there. Oh, he's, you're going to lay on the paper? Okay. You can lay with me. Then, these are so stinking cute. I got these candle huggers. And, like, big bonus. I don't think they've ever been broken. Unless that's a really, really good glue job in the seam of those wings. I don't think that, because this one looks like it's all one piece. And this one, you can kind of see a seam. Or wait, has his head been lopped off too? Or is that, I'm thinking it's gathered glaze, like right there, you know? Um, they don't have a Holt Howard sticker. I have no idea. But very cute. Hi there. You want to say hi, buddy? Want to say hi to all the ladies? Say hi. Say hi, I'm so handsome. Do you see yourself? Do you see yourself? <laughs> buddy butt. He's going to play in the paper. All right, then these are um, like, I think they're old, like baby, like burp, burp cloths, you know? Um, but I, I still thought they were really cute and they would be cute out for spring, like on your kitchen, like your oven or something like that. But there's this one. But they have that feeling of it might've been like a little baby towel. I mean, it's not terry cloth, but you could just tell, you know? So there's that one. And then, yep, you can tell. They're a little towel, like a burp cloth. And then this one. And then, and it's like they, they, it, they were colored or painted or something. You could tell that they were kind of colored in to make the pattern, like someone drew them and, or I don't know if that's how the store, I mean, I can't imagine the store would make it so kind of messy right there, but you never know. So I thought those were cool. Hi, buddy bud. He's just in, the, in all the paper. All right. Next thing I have is this really cool spaghetti Santa bank. Now, the only thing I saw, he does have some crazing, but like right here, he has, let's see, uh, oh, it has this right here. I can't really feel it. So he was waiting right by the door, Gabriel. Look, he's waiting. <laughs> But yeah, I have this Santa bank. Doesn't have its bottom, but he's pretty freaking awesome. He's so cool. He doesn't have his original sticker either, but I think these were Napco. So I got him. Okay, so I have a pretty good vibe. You guys said the skunk. You said the Santa. Good morning. Um, okay, you were talking to me. Wait, wait, were you? Okay. Um, and then I think you guys liked this kitty. Hi, Bree. How are you? I'm just showing some stuff that's going to be available in the sale later on today. Well, in like an hour and a half or however long the way that is. Um, yeah, okay, cat, cool. All right, let's. It's like opening presents all over again. This I thought was neat. I love the um, sort of, it reminds me like, I don't know why Jim Shore pops in my head. Maybe because he carves little details into the wood, but it's very like uh, geometrical. This little elephant here, made in Japan but I thought this guy was really cool. He still has a lot of his paint left on him. So he could have been like a pin cushion. He could have been all sorts of things. When I look in my little books, it's like, oh, that's a planter. But no, it was really, you know, whatever. 
Hi, Tiger Purple. So, there's that. And then what else do we have here? Oh, Bianca and I picked the same thing. So, Bianca spotted this, but she didn't say anything to me. And then I spotted it. And um, Aaron was telling Bianca, you were right. Mom does like that. So, it's like this big bunny figurine. I thought this guy was really cool. He's not big, but he's bigger than like um, this. <laughs> oh, well, thanks. I think you were talking to me. If you were, thank you. <laughs> so we got that bunny. Then this is the guy I said was a single shaker. Poor little fella had probably been dropped or something. And his little shaker squeaker box is broken. But who doesn't love him? Who doesn't love him? So it says Japan on the back. And I think he was dropped probably. That was like glued back in. You know, they cared enough to glue that back in. But his little squeaker box is like kind of loose. And it doesn't work anymore. So, but it is dated. It says Carol Ann 1954 on the bottom. But look how sweet he is for spring. Oh, and look, he's got an old chip on the back of his tail. That's really old. You know, what on earth? Okay, that totally looks like a chip, right? But it's got glaze and paint over that, that whole chunk that's taken out of there. Interesting. Anyways, he's really cute. Then I got this really cute bag of clown uh, cupcake toppers. I know a lot of people don't care for clowns, but I thought they were cool. I mean, I don't see. Oh, they do say something on the bottom. Hold on. Let me open the bag. They just seem familiar to me. Like. Hold on. Wilton. Oh, something Hong Kong. I think it says Chicago. Hong Kong, and then it has a number. So, let's see what you guys said. Nope, she wouldn't love those. Oh, yes! Joanne, I did see that. Okay, so I haven't really checked anyone's um, emails from Sunday sale because I knew I was coming Tuesday to do the sale. But, Joanne, I did... Um, it. I think I was getting ready to go to bed or something like that, or it was very early in the morning when I saw it. And I thought, oh my God, it's so cute, your little tree. And then you asked me if I spotted the little thing that you got from me. Yes, I saw it. It was so cute. I don't know what I was doing, but I saw it and then continued on what I was doing. But thank you for showing me. It was so cute. All right. Then, the Aaron spotted these. And these are like, these are interesting. They're like cat pigs. You ever seen a cat pig? <laughs> well, I mean, I know I have cat salt shakers that are like these. So that's why I say they're cat pigs. But they're tall, um, redware pig. Um, these aren't shakers. It has like a stopper. So they're tall pig stopper thingies. Cat things cat pigs but I thought these were great right up my alley with that one all right the next thing I have a couple of things left and then we have to go on about our day because I gotta get ready for the sale um yes yeah wait if someone asked I haven't received an invoice for the purchase of the email. yes Donna, yeah, I just said that. And I actually um, said that in Sunday sale that I was going to wait um, until, I mean, because I was Sunday towards the afternoon. And I was going to wait until Tuesday because we're having another sale today at 1. Um, and I was going to see if 
um, anyone purchased from that sale so that you guys could get combined shipping. I mean, if you want to pay two separate shippings, that's fine by me, but um, I was going to see who bought from Sunday to wait till today to create your invoice, um, and then you could get combined shipping. So that's why you haven't, that and like, you know, I'm human, and I, I don't run on full speed all the time. <laughs> so the next thing I have, these are Tilso Japan, and it's the little, this little set of poodles. They're blue and pink, and they're very cute. They have some crazing. But I, other than that, they're like in such good shape. I don't see anything the matter with them. So, like their tail's never been glued back on. Their heads have never fallen off. <laughs> they're in good shape. All right, I got this for me because I love antique group photos. This was a dollar. Can't, I can't beat that unless someone just handed me one. My foot is falling asleep. Ow. So yeah, I picked that up. And then the last thing that I have is this really cool planter right here. This really cool bird planter. It is like an as is item because it's sort of like the Santa um, at some point in its life, something banged into it. So it has like this crack here. I mean, I can feel it right here, but right here, I can't. So, oh, did you? Yeah, he was taking video and pictures. He was taking all kinds of stuff. He said, I gotta get some stuff on my Instagram. So, but anyways, this is the last item that I have to share with you guys from the antique store and Goodwill. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Um, I just wanted to share that with you really quick in case you guys, well, the shop with me for the antique store video um, will probably be tomorrow. But if you're interested in this, in this stuff, um, I'm showing it now. I mean, usually I do the shop with me and then the haul, but I mean, I can't because, you know, I'm all discombobulated. You guys understand, right? Just know that if you're interested in anything you saw in that photo from yesterday, it'll probably end today's sale. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for coming and joining me. You hear this? It's about life insurance. They're interrupting my life for life insurance. Anyways, guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget, like, when you leave this video, won't you just give me a little thumbs up because it says 55 people. Nobody's here, Chris, with 19 thumbs up. And then when you, um, when you leave, like, go leave a regular comment down below and let me know what items you think you guys would like to see in today's sale. And it should pop right through to my phone after this video is done rendering on YouTube. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll see you again really, really soon. Bye.